Why do you guys save so much stuff that you are never going to use? Like what? Like this piece of orange rind shaped like a goldfish that I found in your pajama pocket, Nicholas. That's not junk, that's a natural wonder. <laughs> Nicholas, it's junk. <laughs> Michael, what is this? <gasps> Mom, remember that 35-foot jump shot I sank when I was 11? This is the tongue from the left shoe that I was wearing. <laughs> so? So? We really don't understand a thing. <laughs> I'm putting all the junk I find in this box. Don't take anything out of here unless it's something you really want to keep. Are there any questions? Yes, Cece. Can I keep the box? <laughs> this is going to be harder than I thought. Good morning. Oh, good morning, good morning, sweetheart. What's up? Hey. Who's on the telephone? Uh, Daryl Cooper. I don't remember any Daryl Cooper. Who's he? Just a guy. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. He got it. <laughs> Mom, Daryl is really cute. He's 16. He started the football team. He's smart, and he seems nice. Please keep Dad from tearing him to pieces. <laughs> Your dad's not that rough on your boyfriends. Unless you count the where do you think you're taking my daughter talk. See him twist. See him turn. See him run screaming from the house. <laughs> I love them when they cry. I'm gonna meet my dates at the restaurant. I'll break the news to Dad gently in my own way. And you guys don't say anything. Nothing. All right. Got it. Got it. Oh, okay, fine. Okay. Good morning. What's new? Zaya and Dad, his name is Daryl Cooper. Go get him, Dad! <laughs> your dates to brighten that chair box, cause girl, it's over. <laughs> Lucky brown jacket. Ah, <laughs> uh, men are so sentimental. You'd think people would have more sense than to get attached to a bunch of useless broke. Hey, who threw this out? This is the spoon Cece chewed on when she was teething. <laughs> that is valuable, all right. Uh, Look, you go get the scrapbook. I'll put this in a nice, safe place. Oh, good idea. this date, are you? Now, I know everything about first dates. Of course. That's all you have are first dates. <laughs> <laughs> now, if this guy's any good at all, he'll know how to con dad. Believe me, I've done it a hundred times. Okay, seven times. <laughs> now, here's what I do. I do is I put on a tie, I call the girl's dad, sir, and I act really interested in everything he says until he sort of gives in and lets me date his daughter. <laughs> Do guys really do that? Trust me. We're all creeps. <laughs> Whoa! She's gonna throw away the first model airplane I ever built? <laughs> Is nothing sacred in this house? <laughs> Hi, Zaya. Hi. You look 
great. Thanks. Uh, you're wearing a tie. <laughs> I know what you're up to, and my dad's not gonna go for it. This must be Daryl. And you must be Mr. Peterson. Oh, excuse me, sir. Professor Peterson. Too much. <laughs> Zaria, would you excuse us? I'd like to uh, talk to this young man. Do you have to? Uh, oh, that's okay, Zaria. It's understandable that a father would want to know more about anyone who's taking out his daughter. Well, it's been nice knowing you. <laughs> Sorry, this guy is way overplaying it. Tomorrow morning, his head is going to be mounted on Dad's office wall like a moose. <laughs> so, Daryl, where did you meet Zaria? Uh, at a football game, sir. I threw the winning touchdown pass to beat her school, and I just stopped by the sidelines to say, good game. Uh-huh. <laughs> You know I have a doctorate in communication, so I can sense when someone's not being honest. Oh, I know, sir. I read your book, The Media Manipulators. Uh. <laughs> so you read my book, did you? Fatal no mistake. He says he read the book. I can't watch. <laughs> I suppose you're aware that there's a typo on page 240? <laughs> you did read my book. <laughs> Actually, my father suggested I read it. Your father sounds like a wonderful man. Is he in communications? Actually, he's a chapter in your book. He owns Tritel Core Industries. Your father is Roderick Cooper? Uh, yes, sir, but I plan to donate my inheritance to the Nature Conservancy. If my father was a big enough man to build up his fortune from nothing, then I figure I should be too. Zaria, don't leave your date waiting! <laughs> Donate inheritance to the Nature Conservancy? <laughs> this guy should host an infomercial on dating. I'm about to go on a date with the world's smoothest liar. Do you believe Mom was going to throw this away? What is it? I have no idea. <laughs> Mike, can I talk to you? Do you want to talk to me? I just wanted to let you know you were completely wrong about Daryl. He took me to a nice restaurant, he walked me home, he bought me this rose, he got me here on time, and he shook my hand on the front steps. He was a perfect gentleman. Wait, I... I let me get this straight. He got past Dad, and he's still trying to pretend to be nice? <laughs> Can't you accept the possibility that there's one teenage boy in New York who's actually decent? No. <laughs> no and besides, getting a girl home on time isn't decent. It's sick. Uh, no, for your information, he had a lot of homework due tomorrow. Plus, he had football practice earlier today, and he was tired. You're right. Zaria, I gotta tell you, I really like Daryl. Me too. I had a great time tonight. I know, he just told me. What? He's downstairs. Oh, Dad, please don't ruin this. You already gave him the third degree. No, 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 no. He wanted to come in and discuss my book. You're kidding. <laughs> no, I, I really like this kid. I mean, he's, he's intelligent, he's ambitious, he's hardworking. He's like a young me. <laughs> You might be great on the football field, but I'm the king of Scrabble. We'll see about that, sir. <laughs> Daryl, what are you doing? You told me you had homework. Oh, that's all right. I'll just pull an all-nighter. I've got a chance to play Scrabble with Professor Robert Peterson. I've got a word. Melt it. That's nine points. You know, I'm a pretty good Scrabble player, too. Yeah? Well, we should play sometime. No! Oh, I got a word! <laughs> My word is narthex. Narthex. I love this guy. It's 27. That's a great arm, Mr. Peterson. Hey, did you ever play for the NFL? Oh, I played a little ball in school. But that was pinball. <laughs> Mr. Sir, you cracked me up. Uh, well, I am a professional actor. Hey. Didn't I see you in that study buddy detergent commercial? Oh, that was me. 
And I was inside that washer. And I was going around and round. <laughs> with study buddy coming out of my mouth. <laughs> then at the end, I swallowed some water. And bubbles came out of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that was a big deal. Oh, remember that. Well, how come I haven't seen you in anything since then? I'm very selective about my parts. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you should go grab Zari and the two of you should go on your date. Uh, you need some cash? Uh, here's $60. Well, uh, I've only got 20, but you're welcome to it. Oh, it's a one. <laughs> Actually, sir, I mean, if it wouldn't be too much of an imposition... Uh, never mind, I shouldn't ask. No, 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 go, go on and ask. Well, I'd kind of like for us to stick around and eat with you here. Sure. Why didn't you say so? Let me put on a few extra burgers. Oh, oh I'll help you. Oh, that meat can be heavy. <laughs> Robert, this guy is a keeper. <laughs> I mean, he's intelligent, charming, handsome. Let's let's not get carried away. It's just a second date. Oh, wow. <laughs> I always cry at weddings. <laughs> Zoria, with this 640 carat ring, I thee wed. <laughs> thee too. <laughs> Mr. Peterson, with this Super Bowl ring, Ooh. I thee thank for raising such a wonderful daughter. Do you mind if I call you dad? <laughs> Why not? You already changed your name to Peterson. Oh. <laughs> By the power vested in me by the state of New York and the Sally Struthers Correspondence Academy, I now pronounce you husband and wife. After six years of closely supervised dating, you may finally kiss the bride. <laughs> so where are we going for the honeymoon? Who ate all the wedding cake? I think I chipped my tooth for the bride. <laughs> Darling, here's my wedding gift to you. <gasps> oh, Daddy, look! Daryl just bought me for Zoom! <laughs> <laughs> now the rainforest will be saved so your grandchildren can breathe free. <laughs> What a wonderful gift. And all I got them was a salad spinner. <laughs> Thank you for the rainforest. No problem, sir. All those trees. <laughs> Another stack of belly busters coming right up. <laughs> Daryl, what are you doing? We have a date. Oh, hey, I'm sorry. I, I started talking to your dad and Derek, and I guess I lost all track of time. But guess what? We're gonna eat here instead. Isn't that great? <laughs> Derek, can I talk to my dad alone? Sure. Uh, hey, Daryl, you wanna sing the Suddy Buddy theme song? Why not? A dash of Suddy Buddy will stand the test. We will spread the middle party on the side. Hey! Do, 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 do. Hey! <laughs> Oh, before I forget, I bought you guys two tickets to that concert at Shea Stadium on Friday night. Dad! I, I know, I know, I said you were too young, but since it's Daryl taking you, I trust him. In fact, uh, I told him I'd lend him my car. You want to get down to Good China? <laughs> Dad, I don't want to go to the concert on Friday night. I wanted to go out with Daryl tonight, alone. What could you possibly do in a restaurant with Daryl that you can't do here in front of your family? Break up with him. It was awful. He begged me not to break up with him. He pleaded. I thought he was going to cry. I sure hope Daryl takes this better than your dad did. <laughs> well, I'll know in an hour. Well, what exactly is the problem? No sparks? Oh, there's plenty of sparks. Between Daryl and Dan, Daryl and Derek, Daryl and Nicholas, apparently everybody has sparks with Daryl except me. Uh-oh, now, now, that's not true, honey. Now, not everybody is on fire for young Mr. Cooper. 
So you don't like them? No, oh, are you kidding? Huh? Honey, he's all that and a big bag of chips. <laughs> you see, he's dating my family and not me. Have you decided what you're going to tell him? I've never broken up with anybody before. Hmm. How'd you used to do it? I remember this one boy I went out with. We had just come out of Shaft's big score. <laughs> and I told him, baby, we can't groove anymore. Can you dig it? <laughs> <laughs> don't think that'll work for me because I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I remember the first guy I dumped. <laughs> it was 1951. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was driving him home on my motorcycle. He was in the sidecar. We took a fast corner. I pulled out the bolts. I went down Broadway. He went down Columbus. <laughs> Never saw him again. <laughs> oh, and that was a fine-looking sidecar, too. Oh, there you go, Dad. Listen, I was so baffled by Daryl that I ran a comprehensive multiple-field data search on him. Don't bother. Your sister's breaking up with him tonight. No. This has gone way past Zarya. Daryl Cooper has upset my entire theory of humanity. Nobody is this nice. Michael, don't get obsessed with this. Obsessed? <laughs> Who's obsessed? I'm just gonna go searching through his garbage. I'll talk to you later, Dad. See ya. <laughs> I heard. <laughs> Robert, I didn't sleep a wink all last night. <laughs> She's making a mistake. Tell me about it. Poor Daryl. I feel for him so. <laughs> if she would have just been with us last night at that Knicks game, she'd see she's got him all wrong. Or if she'd been with us when we rehearsed for Streetcar Named Desire, that young man is the best darn Blanche Dubois I ever saw. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's it. She wasn't with us. So she slapped this nice guy label on him. Oh, and what a vicious, ugly label it is. <laughs> if she just had a chance to spend some time alone with him, she'd fall for him. She'd have to. There's only one sensible thing for us to do. What's that? We got to follow them to Shea Stadium and drain the gas out of your car in the parking lot. <laughs> Derek, wherever you're going with all this, I don't like it. Let me finish. We follow them there. When they're inside the concert, we siphon the gas out of your tank. I don't want to hear this. All right. Daryl pages you. You call him back from a payphone and tell him to sit tight and that we'll be there any minute. They are sitting there for an hour in a well-lit public place where we can keep an eye on them. After they've had time to get to know each other, we cruise on by with some gas and rescue the young lovers. Derek, you've had some really bad ideas. Oh. But this will work. <sighs> <laughs> oh, turn this up, turn this up. This song always makes me cry. Can we change the station? Nope. The button's been jammed since they put that low jack in. <laughs> Here they come. Okay. They're getting in the car. He's trying to start the car. Good luck. He's starting the car. He's turning the lights on. He's driving away in the car. Wait a minute. He took the wrong car. Your car's over here. You idiot, that's not my car. You siphon the wrong tank. Don't, don't, don't just sit there, follow them. Uh-oh. I think we killed the battery listening to the country countdown. <laughs> If Derek's car broke down, why didn't you call the automobile club? We did, but they didn't recognize his car as an automobile. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hi, sweetie. Baby, I think it's time you talk to your daughter. Uh, honey, I think I owe you an apology. I know you're old enough to pick your own boyfriends. 
no matter how wrong you may be. <laughs> so how did Daryl take the bad news? Oh, I didn't break up with him. Good evening, Mr. Peterson. <laughs> Great. I know. So, uh, are we on for next Saturday night? Can't wait. Mr. Peterson, Zari and I had a little talk, and for the sake of our relationship, we've decided that you and I shouldn't see so much of each other. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Good night, Zari. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Tell your father I said hi. <laughs> I knew if you got to spend some time together, you'd see how nice he is. It was very thoughtful of you to go out and give us that privacy. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Why do you smell like gasoline? Uh, it's a long story. Good night. Okay. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, my world view is right back on track. What are you talking about? Well, I was spying on Daryl and Zari the whole time. Alone, <laughs> together, in the kitchen. Daryl is a normal teenage boy after all. <laughs> <laughs> He's normal? I'll kill him. <laughs> I knew that kid was up to no good the minute I laid eyes on him. Zaria, I forbid you to see him again. Do you hear me? <laughs> What are you doing in there? My mom loves my baby doll and then I'm going with her. <laughs> Let's get you and your baby doll to bed. in that car. If you blew it on another hair transplant for that dog... I gas, it was full. I don't know what happened. <laughs>